Hello. Let's learn how to read and write time in hours and minutes. When the second hand moves one complete round, the minute hand moves one minute. When the minute hand makes one complete round, the hour hand moves one hour. There are many ways of reading time. We read the minute first, then the hour when using the words past, before or to. For example, 15 minutes past 8. A quarter to nine, or 15 minutes to nine. Fifteen minutes past eight. We can also read the hour, then the minutes. For example, eight fifteen. Eight forty-five. When we write time, we write the hour first, followed by the minutes. For example, one thirty is written as we use AM and PM to show whether it is morning, afternoon, or evening. AM means anti-meridium. It shows the time between 12.01 after midnight to 11.59 in the morning. PM means post-meridium. It shows the time between 12.01 after noon to 11.59 at night. For example, if it is morning, we write 1.30 a.m. If it is afternoon, we write 1.30 p.m. Let's learn how to construct, read and extract information from a simple schedule. How does our daily activities are like? Every day, we have to be in school before 7.30 a.m. At 2 p.m., we have lunch at home. At a quarter to four, we start doing our homework. At half past five, we play badminton. Now, we will learn to transfer the data into a schedule. It is important to know how many months are there in a year. Name the months of the year. How many weeks are there in a month? Name the festivals in a month. Let's look at an example. August is the eighth month of the year. It has 31 days. 
we celebrate our National Day on the 31st August. 31st August, 2007, falls on Friday. Solve the problem given. Manso set for his monthly test starting on 26 March 2007. If his test lasts for five days, when will his test end? What is given? What is asked for? What operation is needed? It is five days. He will end the test on 30th March 2007. Do you know that one day is equal to 24 hours? One year is equal to 365 or 366 days. One decade is equal to 10 years. How many hours are there in a day? Twelfth midnight. Twelfth noon. Twelfth midnight. The clock shows that twelfth midnight to twelfth noon is a total of twelve hours, and from twelfth noon to midnight is another twelve hours. There are twenty four hours in a day. Twelve hours plus twelve hours is equal to twenty four hours. Here's a problem. To solve the problem, first we need to convert the answer in minutes. Remember, 60 minutes equals one hour. Forty five minutes plus fifty minutes equals ninety five minutes. Then convert ninety five minutes to hour and minutes. Ninety five minutes equals one hour thirty five minutes. Let's look at this problem. Convert the answer to year and months. Remember, 12 months equals one year.
30 months minus 11 months equals 19 months. Convert 19 months to year and months. 30 months minus 11 months is equal to 1 year, 7 months. Let's do the multiplication problem. Each cake takes 45 minutes to be decorated. How much time is needed to decorate three cakes? Remember, 60 minutes equals one hour. Forty-five minutes multiplied by three equals one hundred thirty-five minutes. Convert one hundred thirty-five minutes to hour and minutes. One hundred thirty-five minutes equals two hours fifteen minutes. That's all for today. Till we meet again, bye-bye.